hello happy people hamza here and welcome to this tutorial now in this video i want to show you how to add a testimonial slider and a testimonial grid to your elementor or wordpress website just like any of this in a very simple way and in this case you won't actually need to buy any plugin to be able to create any of these sliders or testimonial grids let's dive straight in now to get started we are going to go to our plugin section and we are going to add a new plugin called HTMega Addons for Elementor. Now, HTMega Addons for Elementor is a massive plugin that you can use to create a number of sections within your Elementor website for free. And by doing a simple search right here in the WordPress plugin repository, you will be in position to get the HTMega plugin show up right here. And once it shows up here, you simply have to install and activate. At the moment, I have it activated and once it's activated it will show up in the left hand side of your main menu dashboard so when you click over htmega add-ons in the menu it will show up right here with all the available free widgets you can use to create sections in your elementor website in this case we are going to use the testimonial and the testimonial grid widgets now we have to make sure that they are enabled to be in position to access them in the elementor widget section so by enabled i mean they should be in blue color and if it's turned off then you won't be in position to access it in the widgets area now once they are all turned on you simply hit save and once that is saved the next thing you have to do is to open up a section or page where you want to display your widgets or where you want to display your testimonials in this case i already have my page called sample page opened up right here now the first thing we are going to do we are going to create a testimonial slider like this and then later we'll create a testimonial grid like this one what i'm going to do is basically i'm going to add a new section here and in this section i'm going to add a new widget by coming here to the widgets area and i search for testimonial now there is two different kind of testimonial widgets there is one from elementor and there is one from the htmega add-ons in this case we are going to use the one from htmega add-ons and once we drag it over to our canvas area this is how it will show up by default here it gives us several number of styles we can choose from in order to display our testimonials on our website or our testimonial slider so by switching or flipping within the different styles we can see the available styles we can get started to use in our elementor website but in this case we are going to use a testimonial slider by checking over here it is testimonial slider number four so when i come over here i'm going to use the testimonial slider number four and then over here i can choose whether to use it as a slider or basically a list of testimonials on our website now this is how powerful this widget is because you can either choose to show just testimonials without having a slider or basically to enable a slider so here we have the number of other items we can add now these are the items for the people who sent you testimonials but we will provide your testimonials on a different platforms like facebook google and many others now you can simply add here a new item and right here you can add the name of that person you can add the image size you can add their designation now in this case i'll add another one called hamza kwehangana and then right here i can add an image but let me start from top here there is a name and then i can browse here grab an image for that person and then i can use the image size as a thumbnail and then their role is a managing director and this is their testimonial that they sent in you can simply get these testimonials from the testimonial pages where they provided or even in through emails now on the other hand we have another person called peter rose we can add his image he's the one here and then uh he's the manager and this is his uh, testimonial the next one is gilbert so we are going to come over here and then grab gilbert's image and we add it over there and we want to use it as a thumbnail i think we forgot to set the same for peter so set it to be thumbnail then also here for gilbert she's a developer and boom that's the image for him and then there is hamza here and then hamza is actually just a designer and right here i can look up an image for hamza um, basically using random images so maybe this one here and then i'll use it as a thumbnail and then here since we enabled in the beginning a slider then here it will ask us the slider items do we want to display two items in the slider at once 
or we want to display three or we want to display four so depending on how you want it to be in this case i want to only have one item in my slider and right here we can even choose to have either the arrows these are the arrows for the slider or we don't want to have the arrows but in this case we want to have the arrows so that people can simply navigate through our sliders and then here we, we can access the icon library and we can choose the type of icons or arrows that we want to use on our slider so in this case i'll use this one and i'll also use this one we can also add dots on our slider widget down here or here but in this case i don't want us to add dots there it will look a little bit too much and then we can also enable pause on hover once anyone hovers over our slider it will not rotate and then here we can also choose the center mode so that everything is centered and then here we can also enable slider autoplay in case we enable this it means that the moment the page loads up our sliders will autoplay immediately and then we can also add the speed for our slider and a lot more other settings that you can add right here even for the tablet and the mobile phone now this is one of the other beauties about the testimonial slider from ht it has a number of options and it is perfectly responsive or you can even set up different settings for different devices now once you are done there then we come over here to our style page and then here we can style up our image we want to add a border and that border is going to be solid and we are going to make it five pixels and even we are going to choose a color right here for our border and maybe we are going to use that color and then here we can even add a border radius in case you want to add a border radius but we don't have but we don't want to do anything like that at the moment and then here for the name right here we're going to add color for our name and then even we can change the typography of the names right down there but we want but we don't want to do anything like that then when we go over here to the designation we can show our designation or we can do a couple of styling for our designation right down here by changing the color the font size and the margins and then also the same for the client or what the client says and then on the other hand we can also style up our arrows for example here in this case i can also change the color for our arrows you see now they have flipped over and in case you want also to display another color on hover you can also set up right that here but in this case i don't want to display i want to maybe leave it in black so that when someone hovers then it changes to black simply so once you are done with your testimonial slider settings and it is perfectly matching what you want to achieve then you simply hit here update and once you hit update right there then you'll be in position to see your slider show up here your testimonial slider in other words show up right here and in this slide of ours you even have hamza here included but in the other slider we don't have anywhere hamza included now that's simply how you can add a testimonial slider on your wordpress website and like i said you can even add more columns or testimonials in one single slider now on the other hand we are going to create a testimonial grid for our wordpress website and i'm simply going to come over down here and then i go to our widgets area and then we'll search for a testimonial grid and drag it over here it has the ht logo and boom this is where it is now we can add a number of other items in our testimonial for example these are all testimonials from different people so i'm first going to add images to these testimonials so i'll simply just grab our images here then use them as thumbnails because they are really large images the same here down i'll use it also as a thumbnail and then also for the other person called gilbert and then i'll also use it as a thumbnail and then also i can add another item Maybe i name this hamza2 and i'll say Hangana, and then i'll also add an image for him uh, something like this and then i'll also use it as a thumbnail and of course you can change everything right here but the other thing you have to know about now the testimonial grid we can also add the client rating in this case hamza rates these people five sir and then the other person four the other person has five two and the other person is maybe rating them at three now this should be based on the ratings what these people are providing now you can even uh maybe let me try to 
I'll duplicate this and I'll also duplicate this other one and I'll simply move this other to the other section and this is how our testimonial grid looks like at the moment I love this it looks really really beautiful you know here the name their title and the ratings they are giving to that company and like I have not mentioned here we can also choose into different other styles for our testimonial see how now it's changing we can also use this other one whereby the ratings are at the bottom including the name and the designation and then also the style for our ratings the other one for style 4 we can show up also in this other order and there is also style 5 we can show it in this other order with the images showing up like this but i think i like style 2 was it style 2 or style should, no it should be column 3 style 2 yeah is it that or it is style 1 yeah this is what i like but before i used another styling here and uh, here i used another styling which was basically style 3 with two column so maybe i can set up that here so i can say style 3 with two columns and that's how it looks like okay now when we go over to our style section we can make stylings to our images we can change the image border type to solid and we can add uh, the border to be five pixels and, and we can also change the border color to this color and then also we can make changes to the name style to be maybe in another unique color not only black and also we can even change the typography by probably increasing the font size of the name but i simply want to leave it that size and then designation you can also make changes over there maybe in the color and maybe in the typography and also maybe in the margins and paddings and then also the client say or the real testimonial you can make changes over there maybe to another maybe a darker color and also maybe you can increase on the typography or the typeface so i think something like this works well and also the rating you can change the rating colors to any color that you want but i think um, a yellow works well or a gold something like that now once you are done making your changes to your testimonial grid you simply hit update and once you update it will reflect on your live page or where you want to display your testimonials you see now this is the one that has hamza the first one didn't have a name hamza anywhere and like i said you can make a number of changes and customizations to your testimonial slider or to your testimonial grid using the ht mega add-ons for elementor all for free anyway thank you so much for watching this tutorial that's a simple way you can create testimonial sliders or even testimonial grids in your elementor website for free and hey in case you have any questions comments about this specific tutorial please let me know in the comment box below and in case you're new to the channel please subscribe and if you like this video please hit the like button thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video